Today, Royal Caribbean canceled 18 upcoming cruises in Southeast Asia, and that comes as passengers on the Diamond Princess are still stuck on board with no indication of when they might be able to go home. Meanwhile, the National Health Commission says more than 5,000 new cases have been reported today in China. Overall, there are more than 63,000 cases worldwide, and more than 1,300 people have died. Here in the U.S., the number of cases is at 15, but fears over the virus are putting a big hit on the travel industry heading into the high season. If you have spring break plans coming up, you might be thinking about canceling your trip after you hear all those numbers. Right, but before you do that, our consumer investigator Hank Winchester is here. And Hank, you talked with the experts about coronavirus fears amongst travelers. Yeah, and I think a lot of people have those fears right now, obviously with the numbers that you just sure. revealed right there. So we talked to the industry experts. What should you be doing right now to be prepared? Well, when it comes to yourself and traveling, right now you really need to think ahead. Fears and anxiety running high, travelers concerned about the coronavirus. You always need to check travel warnings. Watch level one, practice precautions. Alert level two, practice enhanced precautions. Warning level three, reconsider. Avoid non-essential travel. And level four, do not travel. Check the country's destination page. You should always double check that if there's any protocols for vaccinations or things like that. That's always available um, online or with some of the CDC um, information or FAA. But when it comes to traveling within the U.S., David Fishman of Cadillac Travel says don't be overly concerned about the virus. You got to be reasonable to a certain extent. He says treat it like the flu. Take a wipe to your seat and everything around you on the plane. Wash your hands constantly and turn off the fan above you to keep germs in the air from your face. Lastly, travel insurance. It is more important now than ever. There are travel insurances that allow you to cancel for any reason. So sometimes it's 75% that you get back, sometimes it's 100%, and sometimes you get the money back, and sometimes it may be in a voucher to use for future credit by traveling. If you really want to cancel your trip, call the airline, the hotel, or the tour operator directly. Ask for a full refund, a change in destination, or a credit to a later date when the coronavirus outbreak calms down. Overall, you should be smart about what you're doing, but in general, I think you just, you know, keep an eye and see how, how it's progressing, where it's at. Travel insurance is so important for every trip. You have car and home insurance, you should have travel insurance as well. Now, the CDC has a travel health page dedicated to travel warnings, not only here in the U.S., but around the world. We're going to put all that information for you at clickondetroit.com. Good advice about that travel insurance because yeah. I go past it so quick, never click the button because I'm like, right. I want to save a little bit of money. I'm yeah. already paying this much, but you need it. Yeah, yeah. and it's, it's really, it's not that expensive, it's not expensive when you think yeah. about how much your trip is. Right, right, right. right.